Okay, let's start. A 60-year-old man presents to the emergency department with crushing substernal chest pain that radiates to his left arm. His symptoms also include dyspnea, diaphoresis, nausea, vomiting. The patient has a history of hypertension, tobacco use, and a strong family history of coronary artery disease. Examination findings are given, and so are ECG findings. Which of the following would you consider as the next treatment for this patient? You can pause, read the question, answer it, and come back for the correct answer. So, the correct answer here is A. Reperfusion therapy. The patient was administered oxygen, aspirin, nitrates, and morphine. The patient was treated for his acute MI. The next step is to give him reperfusion therapy as rapidly as possible to restore normal anti-grade blood flow in the occluded artery. Reperfusion may be accomplished by thrombolytic therapy or by percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty. That said, it is important to know that reperfusion therapy is contraindicated in patients who present with conditions that predispose them to significant bleeding. And, thrombolytic therapy is contraindicated in patients who have ECG abnormalities other than ST segment elevation or bundle branch block. This is the same vignette as the last question. However, the question asks, the patient has now been treated with thrombolytics. Adding, which of the following would most likely improve this patient's outcome? You can pause, read the question, answer it, and come back for the correct answer. So, the correct answer here is, B, IV beta blocker therapy. A number of studies of beta blocker therapy in patients with acute MI have shown improved patient outcomes, including reductions in hospital stay and improved long term mortality. Early administration of beta blockers may reduce infarct size by reducing heart rate, blood pressure, and myocardial contractility, all of which diminish myocardial oxygen demand. Use of IV beta blocker therapy as soon as possible is recommended for all patients with acute MI in whom beta blocker therapy is not contraindicated.